Hey you guys, it's Siho Mama, and we are back again with Dysteria on our, the faction server, and we managed to collect some reeds, and uh, I've done quite a bit with this, which is what I'm about to go and show you. Well, right down here, I mean, we expanded the base, and we created a bit of an area for some of our other faction mates. We've got my pal Nub Nugget over here, this is his place, so, which is... Just pretty much a storage container. <laughs> I don't, I, he's not too into building. He's more about functionality. And this is Tonitas. And just, I this is gonna be amazing. Just wait until we get inside. I know, right? So good. Yes. It, I I don't think I'll ever be able to compete with this guy. Just saying. Any, I don't even know about you guys. I mean, if one of you guys can attempt to beat this. I, I'd just be astonished, and I'd just love to see your work, but I don't think that'll happen. So, I'll just show you my reed farm. Yes, my reed farm. I spent about three hours trying to figure out how to do this right last night. Oh my god, it was so sad. I spent so long. I so thought I could do it a certain way, and it just, I couldn't do it. I ended up having to make it like this, using, like wires to reset and whatnot. I don't know. I don't fully understand redstone because I'm the worst with redstone. But I'd explain it if you guys actually wanted to, but I doubt you want me to. So I'm just going to let it... You. I'll just explain like the basics of how it worked. Pretty much when a bit of reed goes up to the third block, it'll update this block, the top row, which will all push out, breaking the top block and putting it onto the stream. The the reeds will flow down the stream until it hits this tripwire. When it hits this tripwire, both of these blocks will be pushed out and retracted. And since the top one is already out, it's going to get retracted so that when another block grows, it'll reactivate. And it'll just go in a loop like that. And uh, once the reeds flow down here, it'll continue for all these. They end up flowing all together into this hopper yes I said it hopper I got enough for the hopper and I spent it that is insane right there could have been so many better uses for that money but no I needed that hopper so yes I got a hopper and now we're collecting reeds like champs so that's what I spent my last night doing so now we've got a pretty successful farm it's pretty cool I mean probably would have been better uses for 15k but I mean this is truly the best as well um i ended up putting my levels towards a diamond pickaxe and getting efficiency four which if you don't know is extremely fast at mining obsidian so i mined like three stacks i ended up selling one for like 10k because they sell for a lot and that's where i got some of the money for that and i'll probably end up putting these up on the auction as well because that's what i did i put them on the auction house um so actually let me try and do that right now, see if I can do that. I was trying earlier, but no one was buying, but you guys might want to see. So, how you put stuff on auction is less off, then you put the quantity, which is, I've got two stacks, so that's 1280. Um, wait, what else is it? Wow, no, no, I should probably stop that. Whatever, it'll probably be default. So, that's the price. That's a, no, oh my god, no, I, I probably want to stop that. If I can figure it out. Uh, <laughs> this, this, this will be bad. <laughs> oh, sh cancel, see. Um... Someone's trying to TP to me. Why? Why are they trying to TP to me? Yeah, I'm not going to accept that. I don't want to be killed. But, okay. So, how you should do this right is 128. Then you see the price you want to sell it for. And I've got a two stacks. So, like, 20,000 is good because they sell for 10,000 each. Then you want the increment that people can bid up at. I think 100 is about good. And then the pff, amount of time your auction will be up. So the right about there, and there we go. So it'll be 
able to be raised the bid by a hundred minimum at a time. They gotta start at twenty thousand, and the bid will go up for like uh I think I made it like thirty seconds or a minute. Yeah, as you can tell, I have pretty bad memory. <laughs> uh, so that is that. But next, I t I promised you guys I'd check out the casino. So I think we're gonna go right there right now. So let's do that. Slash warp casino. <sighs> so I'm gonna be honest. I tried this out yesterday, and I almost lost all my money because I have a problem, a severe problem with gambling. So you guys are about to witness my severe problem with gambling because how I do gambling is I start by so you buy it, you buy this, you buy it what you want, and then you drink it, and it tells you if you've won. And we won. Yes, we got a hundred, two hundred for the one hundred we spent. But how I gamble is I'll, I'll continue doing this, and if I lose, I'll go up to the next one. It's a decent system, because if you win, then you make back what you had, and more. So I'll keep doing it. But yesterday, I, I lost, and I kept going. And I ended up going to like 5k, and uh, can we not open that? Well, it seems as if the server has frozen. Oh, oh no, there we go. Um, so I kept doing this until I ended up going to like 5k, which was all my money, and I kept going because I did not want to lose anything, and I just barely won, and I made like my money back. So. I have a problem, and uh, seriously, buying 100s, I'm getting this look. Watch, I'm just gonna move up to like 5k and lose instantly, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh my god, what what are these odds? Okay, so we lose that. That's when we go to this one. What? what? Uh, yeah, here we are. And we buy this, and we drink it, and see, now we won, so we made profit. I wanna start at this one though now, because 100 isn't much. So we lose that. So you move up to 500. Wait, what? Oh, uh, there. So we move up to 500. And we drink that. So there! We've made more money! So this is like, this is a pretty decent money making method, to be honest. So we drink this. More money. It's just like free money for days. Until something goes terribly wrong. And you do not know how to. Okay, I lost a 500. So that means I've gotta go up to 2500 so this this is getting to the decent high rolling so there yes there we go see like my system's not the worst um keep going up but the problem is when you don't win enough and you keep you have this need to keep going you do not want to lose your money and that is bad <laughs> so i could that that's a bad i'm bad with gambling <laughs> but let's, let's just keep going for a bit and see what we can do. So, see, this is my problem. Slash bell. Now I, I'm bad at see, cause now this is what I do. Right here, I do this because I don't want to lose anything. And right here, I'm gonna lose. And now we're down money. And this is the problem with gambling. And this is why we are never gonna return here because this is just bad money management right here. And I don't think it would be wise at all <laughs> to continue with this. I mean, maybe low betting until we've got more money it would be okay, but just I, going up that high is just bad. Not something you want to do. Because then you just lose all your money. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, slash balance. It's time to leave because... Our pockets are going to be empty if we stay here any longer because I have a gambling for home. Slash F home. So, no, no. Yeah. So, we're done with this place. But I have something to show you. Yesterday, I was voting for the server because I've been enjoying myself here. And I got given two voting keys for what you guys saw yesterday, the chess. So, I thought it'd be cool if I showed you guys what we could get from those. I actually don't know how they work, so we're just gonna open it up and see what we get. So let's run over here, and contains powerful voting sword. Ooh! So let's open. No, I think we gotta have the voting key in hand. So I, I don't want these to be unstacked, just in case something happens. So I guess we click this, and a diamond axe. 
Okay, that's pretty lame. Okay, to be honest, it's pretty lame, but it's something. Uh, Companions of Alchemy. Let's try again. Let's hope we get something good this time. Okay, we got another enchantment table and some bios of enchanting. Okay, so we pretty much got garbage, to be honest. <laughs> but I'll be picking up keys and I'll sh I'll save them for when you guys are here so you can see the sick stuff we can get. I mean, I'd like to think we can get some sick stuff at some point, but we probably won't. Let's save for this stuff, which we're not going to get. So, let's go back to base. Uh, we're going to go back to base right now. Yeah, okay. Wait, oh, that, shit, that, that's base already. Look at my beautiful base, guys. No. Okay, let's head back to base. And you might see a lot of junk in my inventory. But I've been gathering a lot of flowers and seeds because of something I have planned. Uh, my friend, one of the guild mates, Tonito, he, he was obsessing over this, this jungle tree. He wanted to just dig up a ton of blocks and just build a jungle tree in the middle of our freaking house. And I'm just like, no, you're not doing that. But I felt bad to deprive this man of his dream. So, what I've decided to do is to create an entire biodome under our base. And I think that's what I'm going to do next episode. So, that's what we've needed to gather all of these flowers and seeds for. So, that's where we're going to put, like, our wheat farm and stuff so we can get on the rolling of that. So, we can have a pretty decent farm supply. Because, I mean, we've been slaughtering animals and we're going to... There's only so many of those nearby. So there's that. So I, I wanna, I guess no one bid on these. Let's try popping them up there again and seeing if anyone wants to try again. So this guy, he's got an option going. Uh, for starting for five, but yeah, see it pretty escalates quickly if he was selling someone's head. Oh, wow, that escalated quickly. This guy's getting 5K just for a head. That's pretty nice. But I get you get heads from killing players, so I don't, I don't really know. How much you'd really be worth if you're killing players. But yeah, uh, sidetrack. Um, so, we've managed to check out the casino. And we've used some chests to gather loot. But, and I've showed you guys off some of the new things we've had. But I'm going to go for now. And next time, we'll be working on the underground biome. And it'll be amazing. Bye, guys.